All right, guys, Ruprecht here with RecordingReview.com. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use EQ matching within Isotope Ozone 5. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is pull up an instance of Ozone 5 on my 2 bus. Let me get that going. All right. So now you can see I've already kind of been up to some mischief here with this business. I've got two snapshots uh, already in there. I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, uh, you want to be in the Equalizer tab. And then you're going to go over here to Snapshots. And this is the section that allows you to take what they call a snapshot of some audio, and it captures the EQ curve. So the first one I want to capture is the track that I'm essentially stealing the EQ from. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and let it play, and then once it plays, I'm going to hit Start Capture, and that's going to capture the EQ. Okay, so now I've got that. Uh, it's always a good idea to just go ahead and name it so you don't get mixed up. You can also uh, click on this guy right here and choose whatever color you want. Okay, so there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and go over to my original track, and I'm going to capture the EQ of that as well so that Ozone knows uh, what to adjust to match. Okay, so same deal here. I'm going to play it and then click Start Capture. Okay, and same thing. I'm going to go ahead and rename that. All right, now we've got that going. Now I want to go directly to the right of the Snapshots tab, and I'm going to click on Matching. All right, now this is where you're going to want to route uh, the matching. So I'm going to match from the August Burns Red track that I had going. So I click on that little tab, and I'm applying that to the original track that I had. So I click on that. Now I go ahead and hit Match. And then it generates this little curve here to compensate for what I had going. So now I also have these two functions here, amount and smooth. And what that does, amount is how much it extenuates the matched EQ curve. And then smooth, you can see it smooths out those peaks and valleys. Okay, so let me go ahead and I'm going to set it to something that's pretty uh, manageable and not, not ridiculous and let you guys hear what we have going. Now, first I have to unbypass it, so it's important to note that right off the bat it's going to be bypassed, so if you do this and then you go ahead and click play without it being, uh, with it still uh, bypassed, you're not going to hear any difference and you're going to think something's wrong. Just click bypass. Okay, so here we go. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and bypass that guy and let you hear what it was like originally. And unbypass. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys learned something. Rock on, have a good time. Ruprecht out.